So what's new? Show 339. Tie one on. Sorry. One on. No, I'm not suggesting we get drunk. But the price of men's ties today could make you need a whiff of brandy. Let's learn to make them instead. It sure beats a hangover, and it's fun. So, what's new? Starring George W. Trippon. We'll first go to the table, and I'll explain how we cut the tie. Beautiful, beautiful fabric, this. It's called a sira. It's a silk. And you notice our pieces of pattern have been laid down on the fabric. And we're going to be cutting the ties on the bias. Now, it's a very lovely, lovely pattern we have here because normally if we lay the fabric at a 45 degree angle here, we have the bias. And they so designed this stripe on the bias so that the tie will tie beautifully. Then you learn a couple of little tricks on how we stitch the tie. So actually, so long as we have a stripe here, fine. If you don't have a stripe, we do have a grain line, which is the bias. And we would measure the same distance from the outside edge to this point and from the outside edge to that point. And of course, we'll need some pins because we do pin. Also, another thing on these very slippery, slidey fabrics, we have put our newspaper under. Remember our newspaper? Thank you. I'm glad you do. Now, look. Let's lay this tie here. This, of course, is parallel to that. Notice that where we seam the tie, because this seams to this seam here, it's on the straight. So if we even keep that line on the straight here, which is a selvage, and then bring the tie up this way, we automatically have the bias, but I'd like to have the stripe right smack dab. You may not be able to see the stripe, but I can. I'll have it smack dab in the middle of the tie. Get in there, you. Stab, lift, push. Good. I guess I have to say it all the time. Stab, lift, push. Follow the stripe. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, it's important to pin each end, each corner, and it's not necessary to pin the paper underneath, but when we do cut, we will be cutting with the paper. I mean, we'll be cutting with scissors, naturally, but we'll be cutting with the paper underneath, really. Yes, be specific, my mother always said. So I'm specific. All right, this can lie right down in here. And of course, you can see we can make a half a dozen ties, and after you see this tie today, You'll be amazed at how quickly you can make them out of some of the most gorgeous fabrics. Now, I'm taking that right on that stripe. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh, you have to say gorgeous yourself, you know, nobody else will. But wait till you see this tie. Notice how I pin, please. Spill the pins. Stab, lift, push. Stab, lift, push. Stab, lift, push. Now, of course, these look like arrows shooting that away. And, of course, these are the facings, which will finish the end of the tie. So that will be put over on the lining section here. And once again, we have our arrow here, which is parallel to this section. You can, once again, measure from the outside edge here. Hold your finger there, measure from here, then pivot one way or the other so that that grain line is on the true line with the selvage, which is the outside edge. And you know selvage is spelled S-E-L. Selvage, S-E-L-E-V-G. Selvage, E-D-G-E. And it's put there to keep the fabric from raveling. Okay, now, we are here and here. Now I judge this with my eye here. No. Bad eye, George. <laughs> really. Look at what you're doing. Don't do what you're looking at. All right. The scissors. The paper. Cut. Now, again, I repeat. It's so much easier to cut with the paper. And you'll cut a smoother line if you always watch the point of your shears, keep the point of your shears, and continue cutting. 
When you get to that point, notice, I move this out of my way, lift it, turn it, come here, put in my bit of a notch here, continue cutting all the way there, come this way. Now, I would never cut this way, so I'm going to block this out. This is why we lay paper under this, to help us rotate this around. I'll also be blocking out this section here, and I'll be blocking out this section here. Oh, come on, paper. There, 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 there. Now, see, by blocking out the sections here with the paper under it, I can get rid of what I don't need now. Out, 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 out. Then I can turn this any which way without disturbing the ply or the layer of fabric we have. I repeat, we use the tip of the shear, cut all the way here, cut on around. Take your time with the cutting unless you're in a hurry, and then hurry up. But if you watch the point of your shears, and notice if you cut on paper, it makes it so easy. Of course, you can also cut on the floor, you know, if you like. Now, I'll be continuing cutting, and I'll be right back, so don't go away, please. Our tie together, we have here our facing, which I'll pin and set aside for the moment because we're going to have to piece our tie at the back here. Now notice we have both edges on the selvage and I've matched a notch. And I take quarter in seams and I pin where the stitching takes place. So we set it here under the machine. Turn the machine on. Plant the needle, please, please. Hold the thread so it doesn't disappear on you. There you go. Now all over again, plant the needle, talk to yourself down, hang on, and stitch across there. I've got quarter inch seams, and I've matched where the stitching takes place, so that when my tie, feed dog up, thank you, 